it's Emily and welcome to my closet. If you're new here, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I do a lot of modest clothing videos. I do a lot of clothing hauls and I do hair tutorials and all kinds of other fun stuff. So if that sounds interesting to you, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel because I upload new videos every Tuesday and Friday. I had somebody suggest to me that I do a video showing all the skirts that I own. So that's what today's video is going to be and that's why I'm in my closet. I figured I would do it here since a lot of them are hanging up. I can just show you and then put them back and it would be a lot easier for me. I have a ton of skirts. I have way too many skirts. I need to get rid of them. So this video might take forever. <laughs> I'm not going to try these on because I do have so many that it would literally just, it would take way, way, way too long. If you don't know, I am getting ready to move and when I move, I am going to be cutting my wardrobe in half. I'm going to get rid of like at least half of my clothes because I have way too much and I don't wear half of it. So if you like these skirts and you like my style, make sure you find me on Poshmark. I will put my screen name here and follow me on Poshmark because after I move, not right away, it's gonna be after the first of the year, I'm gonna start putting a lot of this stuff that you see on Poshmark. So follow me on Poshmark I also sell a lot of my clothes on Facebook. There is a Danny Jules, Jay McKenzie, and other clothing page. It is a private group, so I sell a lot of stuff on there, and I also sell stuff on Modest Resale on Facebook and Holiness Sisters Resale. I'm not selling my whole closet, but I'm gonna sell some of it. If you're interested in like a particular item, just like message me and let me know that you really want it. I can't give everything away because I do have to mail these to you. And so if I even if I gave all these skirts away for free, then I had to pay shipping and that would be a lot of money. So I'm gonna go ahead and get into my skirts. So the first skirt that I'm gonna show you that I'm wearing is I'm wearing this Snoga skirt. It's a Snoga skirt and I got it pulled up high-waisted so I can wear this crop shirt. But it's the midi basic skirt from Snoga and it has attached leggings underneath and the leggings are fitted on my legs so I just pull them up so they're not showing below my skirt and they stay up for the most part since they're fitted. So I wear this skirt all the time, 10 out of 10, would recommend. So I have a pile of skirts right here because I just got back from Florida yesterday. I'm only gonna be home for like a day and then tomorrow I'm leaving and going home for Christmas. So I have a bunch of skirts that I had with me that I just piled in here because I didn't have time to hang them all up. So this skirt is from Out of Faith Fashions and it is an athletic swim skirt and it has the attached leggings underneath as well. And I have this skirt in both coral and turquoise. These are great swimming skirts. And they also have like these little pockets on the inside that you can put stuff in. So these are great for swimming and athletic stuff. I love wearing these skirts to the beach. You all seen this in one of my clothing hauls, I think. This is from Forever 21. This is a new skirt. I haven't wore it yet. I don't know why I haven't worn it yet, but it's got pockets and it's really cute. I just love this. I haven't worn it yet. I got to sew this split up and wear this. Okay, then I got this skirt. It is like a linen skirt and I bought this from Ruli Boutique and I love this skirt. I wear it a lot. I love it because it's a neutral color. It's tan and it's got the white grid with the wood buttons and it's got these little pockets on the side. I love this skirt. It's really thin and nice for summer. Okay, I bought this skirt in Honduras and I think I paid five American dollars for it and it's kind of like um, stretchy, like almost swim material. This is actually too short for me to wear out and the band is too wide for me. I think it's a medium and I wear a small. So I just kind of wear this around the house sometimes as like a wear around the house skirt. Okay, I've got this skirt from Forever 21. Why is all my skirts unbuttoned? Okay, so this skirt buttons all the way down the front. It has pockets on either side. 
and it has this little belt that goes around the top and I bought this skirt this summer and I love it as it's like a really thin material I love it as a summer skirt but it's also like this hunter green so you could wear it like in the fall so it's it's a really cute skirt okay this skirt is literally like 10 years old this skirt is from Gap and it is like sweatshirt material, like sweatpants material, but it's a skirt. I bought this like 10 years ago at a thrift store in Louisville, Kentucky. That's where my parents live. I just wear this as a skirt, like a pajama skirt that I wear around the house and it has drawer strings and it's really comfy. I can't talk today, I'm messing up my words. Okay, I have this really comfy skirt. I bought this from TJ Maxx. And it's really stretchy and it's like a cottony stretchy material. I love this skirt. It's a white denim skirt and I got it from Jay McKenzie. I wear this a lot. This skirt is a black denim skirt and I wear this skirt all the time. There for a while I was doing Tuck and Tilly and when I did that I had this as one of our skirts. So I got one, but I don't run that anymore, but I love this skirt, black denim skirt. I wear it all the time. You all seen this in one of my other videos, but it's this Gap, it's from Gap, and it's a corduroy skirt, and it has pockets and buttons down, and it's so cute, I love this skirt. Okay, I got this jean skirt, it's button downs with pockets. It's from Stevie Hinder, super cute. Love it. I just found this skirt in Florida at Ross and I haven't wore it yet, but it's like plaid and it's got buttons down the front. I've got to sew this split up and it's got this like belt that goes around the waist. This skirt is from Forever 21 and it's just, it gets really wrinkly so I hate that about it, but it's just a neutral color and I, I love neutral colors. Okay, I got this at Target. I think I showed you all in my Shop With Me at Target video, and I haven't worn this yet either, but it is so cute. I'm going to wear this when I go home for Christmas at some point, but it's got like green and white and orange flowers, and it's black. Super cute, and I literally paid $10 for this. I thought this was a great skirt for $10. I bought this skirt on Facebook. Somebody was selling it. And it's like really stretchy and I used to wear this like dressy casual it's from Kato's but here recently I've kind of been wearing it like a workout skirt just because it's so comfy okay so now I'm gonna get into the clothes that are hanging up here I got this skirt from Mamely's classy boutique and this was a really cute skirt that I wore in the fall this skirt is so adorable I bought this from TJ Maxx online and when it got here it's too big for me but I love it so much it has pockets I may get rid of this I may sell it or I may try to find somebody who can take it in for me because I just love it so much I bought this skirt from Charlotte Rouge and it's too skinny like can you see how skinny it is? It's like so form-fitting, which makes me sad because it's really cute. It's like so form-fitting, I can't even wear it. So I'm gonna have to sell that. This is a cotton skirt from Walmart and it's just a cotton pencil skirt. And I also have this in gray somewhere, but I can't find it in here. This skirt is super old, like probably 10 years old or probably more. And it's Derek Hart. I got this at Myers. If you all don't know, Myers is like a grocery store, like equivalent to Walmart. And I've had this for years. I need to get rid of this because I never wear it anymore. I bought this at Old Navy. It still has the tags on it. So I actually bought this while I was still pregnant with Rosie. And I bought it extra small. And Rosie was born in June. And I thought for some reason I was going to be able to fit into an extra small skirt right after she was born. And I couldn't fit into it. So I didn't wear it that summer and it actually fits now, but I haven't wore it just because now I'm like, eh, I don't know if I like it anymore. This is a gray, one of those MOA pencil skirts and it's actually like too big for me. And I also have this in another color. Yes. I also have the magenta color and these are too big on me now cause they're like small mediums and they're like, so there's so much pillaging on these. I think they're really cheap. 
I don't know if I would sell these with them being in such bad shape. I love this skirt. I got it at Slayton and Rose. The only problem is, is like, it's got these like rough pillaging spots all over it. And so I don't hardly wear it because of that, but I love the colors and I love how pretty it looks. I bought this from TJ Maxx online. Super cute, super cute. Very classy skirt. This skirt is from Target. I bought this last winter and I just love how shimmery. It's like a holiday cute skirt. I love this skirt. I bought this skirt from Slayton and Rose. It has pockets and I love this skirt. I have wore this skirt out. I wear it all the time. I wear it in summer, winter. Um, I wear this with a sweater. I wear this dressy. I wear this casual. I have found a million ways to wear this skirt. I could probably do a whole YouTube video on just how to wear this skirt because I have wore this so many ways. I made so many outfits out of it and I love that it's, you guys will notice, I love this tan color. I love white. I love neutral colors because you can just make several outfits out of neutral colors. This skirt is from Peony Street Boutique. I love, love it. And this is just a great skirt. You can wear this in summer or winter. So I love this skirt. This skirt is from Target. I bought this at Target. I bought it this summer. It's been a great summer skirt. It's kind of lightweight and looks nice with anything because it's black and white. I bought this skirt at New York, New York Company in Pigeon Forge, Tennessee. I haven't wore it yet because it's a winter skirt and I've been down in Florida, but it's like velvet, crushed velvet, and then it's got these foil flowers on it. I think this will be cute, but I don't know. Like I look at it and I think this is really cute, but then when I go to put it on, I'm like, is that too much? I don't know. I think I bought this at Clothes Mentor in Louisville when I was not married and it is Ann Taylor Loft brand but it's just like a cotton A-line flowy skirt and I wore this like casual a lot just like in outfits that I needed a skirt like this. These are the only two Danny Jules pencil skirts that I have. I bought this one at one of their shows it was on clearance, super cheap. And this one is the scallop edge out of their new fall line, I believe. Or no, it came out last fall. So I had more Danny Jewel pencil skirts, but I had them in size small and they got too big for me. And this one is extra small and it fits me better. And this one is a size small, but it fits like an extra small, I guess because it doesn't have any stretch to it. I love both of these skirts. This skirt, I don't remember where it came from. A boutique sent it to me. I'll put their name in here if I can find them. But I love this. It's a denim pink skirt and I, I think it's really cute. This is from TJ Maxx and it's just the sear sucker and it's like really thin i think it's like um close to like linen material and i bought this this summer and it was a great summer skirt because it was so thin i loved it i wore it a lot this summer i just got this skirt off of dote it actually looked cuter online but i think i'll still wear it, it the color is just a little off than what i thought it would be i bought this off dote but it actually came from the store dynamite I've never shopped at Dynamite before though, um, but I bought it off Dote. And that's an app on your phone. I got this skirt at Steinmart and I love, love, love this skirt. It's so cute and it's shimmery and it's very formal and nice. I love this skirt. I actually found it on clearance online and I have this in a, another video. I think it was like what I wore to PFIC 2018. I got this at Ross and it's textured. I bought it this summer. I've only wore it like once. So it's really cute like on the hanger, but I've had a hard time like figuring out how to wear it. And it, I just think it doesn't fit me right. So I'd probably sell this. Just doesn't look good on me, I don't think. 
I love this skirt. I found this at Ross, but this is like just a little bit too short for what I prefer. So I'll probably be selling this skirt. So adorable though. I had a boutique send me this. Maybe polka dots and pais paisley boutique. This is so cute. They sent me this this summer and I wore this as a cute summer skirt. It's really adorable. Carver and Company Boutique sent me this skirt and I loved it this summer. I wore this a lot. One of my favorite summer skirts and it has pockets, button down, tie, just perfect. I got this online from TJ Maxx. It has buttons down the front, the tie waist, and I believe it has pockets as well. This was a cute skirt that I wore this summer because it's really lightweight and flowy. And I wore this with like a white top or a navy top and it was just really cute. I got this, I'm getting tired. This is from Stevie Hinder. And this is a linen mauve skirt with pockets on the front and I wore this this summer because it was really thin and I love this skirt. I got this ages and ages ago from Burlington. I never wear this. I'm gonna sell this. This skirt is also really old. It is from JCPenney's Worthington brand, size six. This is too big on me now. It's just like a black pencil skirt, but in the back, instead of a split in the back, there's like pleats so you can walk easily. I'll probably sell this. I probably will. It doesn't really fit me. This is from Jay McKenzie. It's a mustard denim skirt. I don't really wear this very often and I think it's because of the color. Like, not really my style. I bought this skirt when I was pregnant with Everly. So, since I was pregnant with her, it's from Ross. It doesn't fit me anymore. I'll sell this. It's a medium. This skirt is ancient and it's so ancient that I don't even remember where I bought it. I was a teenager when I bought this skirt and so it's been a long time ago. I don't even know where I bought this at. It was some discount store. I think it was like a Value City or a TJ Maxx. I bought this at TJ Maxx. It is a red wrap skirt and this is just cute to wear in the summer. It's really thin. I bought this skirt off of Jane, jane.com, and it's a gray flowy skirt. This skirt is from TJ Maxx, I believe, or Ross, and it's just a khaki skirt. It matches everything. Somebody gave me this skirt. I actually haven't worn it yet because I haven't really found anything to go with it. This skirt I bought from Amazon and I literally bought this so I could match Everly for a collaboration on my Instagram. And I've only wore it for a picture and that was it. I'm just not a yellow person. I love this skirt. I got this from Zoffel. I wore this this spring and I love, 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 love it. So cute. This skirt is from Amazon as well. I bought this to match Everly again. And it's actually too small for me to wear out. I just took a picture in it, I think, and that was it. This came from Myers as well, the grocery store. And I bought this forever and a day ago. And I haven't wore it in the longest time because these skirts have just kind of went out of style. Oh, wait. I lied, you guys. I thought those were the only two Danny Jewel pencil skirts I have, but I have this one as well. And this was the very first Danny Jewel pencil skirt that I ever bought. This is from Burlington, I believe, and it's just a green stretchy skirt. I wore this one summer. I got this at JCPenney's this summer and it's just so cute. This is from Amazon. It is so thin. I needed a taupe colored skirt. It's like so thin you can't even wear it because it's not even really modest. It's like wearing tissue paper. I bought this forever and a day ago from a consignment store in Louisville and it is Gap brand and it's just like a wool thick skirt that you can wear in the winter time. This skirt forever and a day ago, I have no clue where it's from, but I have wore this out. It's like literally falling apart and it looks disgusting. 
I don't wear this anymore because remember these were like so in style. They're not in style anymore. This I got from Steinmart, I believe, and it's been a while since I've had this, maybe a couple years. I don't really wear this anymore either. This was a hand-me-down, and I got this handed down to me a long time ago. This is a Tommy Hilfiger skirt, and it's just a really long khaki skirt. I got this skirt from Macy's, and it's like a thick material, so you wear it in the winter, and it's got the shimmery. It's really cute, but I don't hardly wear this either, and... I'll probably sell it. I don't know. This is from Burlington. It's just a coral pencil skirt with like a zip up back. I mostly wear this in the summer. This is also from Burlington. And it's a plaid. This is really cool when you walk. Like it looks amazing when you walk. I don't wear this anymore. I am not a plaid person. So I will sell this. This skirt is from Ross. And I bought this in the summer. I wear this in the summer. Just a cute, like, dressy casual skirt. This is from Burlington. I bought this when I was pregnant. Wore this while I was pregnant. It is super wear out. But it is, like, so old. There's so much pillaging on it. Okay, you guys. I bought this skirt because I bought this at Chick Wish. And I seen somebody on Pinterest that was a fashion blogger posted this on their Pinterest and I it looked really cute on them because they were like a fashion blogger and they looked all like cool and stuff. And I don't know what I was thinking. I wore this once or twice. I wore this to PFYC. I'm so embarrassed that I did that. I can't believe I did that. Let's see. I got this was a hand-me-down. It's from Old Navy, size four. This actually doesn't fit me, so I don't wear it. It's got pockets, and I had it hemmed. This would be a great skirt for somebody who would actually fit. This skirt is Chaps brand, and I bought this at Kohl's. I bought this a, several years ago, and I don't wear it anymore. Again, the color is just not my style. This is from Burlington, another pencil skirt, and it is... Full of pillaging, like I've literally wore this skirt out. I wore this when I was pregnant a lot. This skirt was, somebody gave this to me and it's got like a spot on the front so I never wear it. I have no clue where this skirt is from. It's just like a gray skirt. I don't wear this anymore. This style just does not look good on me. I'm too short for this A-line. This skirt is from Myers as well. It is so long. It is a maxi skirt. It's like super stretchy. The only time I wore this was when I was pregnant. I wore it with a black top and I just wore it right here. And so my belly would stick out and it almost looked like a dress. Every time I wore this like that tucked in with the black shirt, everybody thought I was wearing a dress and it looked really cute when I was pregnant. My mother-in-law gave me this skirt and I wore this a lot when she gave it to me. Haven't worn in a while. This skirt, I don't know where I got it from. I think I got it from like Ross or TJ Maxx. And I, I have never wore this skirt. I don't know why. I may have wore it once. This skirt is from Goodwill. I bought this at Goodwill in Richmond, Indiana. It is a ruby red, ruby road skirt. I think that's like a nice brand. I'm not really for sure. But I wore this a lot when I first got it. Again, not into the bright colors anymore. This skirt, I have no clue where I got it from. It's Chadwick's brand. And I didn't buy this from Chadwick's, so I probably bought it at a consignment store. And it is just a chocolate brown. Okay, this skirt, I think it was from Macy's or Dillard's. It is Jones Wear Studio. What is that, P Pennies, maybe? I have no idea. Um, I wore this skirt out when I first got it, but I've literally had this skirt for years. I was not married when I had my parents bought me this skirt. Okay, next thing I'm going to move on to my long skirts. These are too long to fit over here. This skirt is from Burlington, I believe. I've wore this skirt out because like the lace is kind of like falling apart at the end. But this skirt has seen better days, but I've wore this so many times. This skirt I got at TJ Maxx, and it is a long maxi skirt. This is actually way too long for me. It's actually from Amber Crombie and Fitch, though. I bought it at TJ Maxx. 
I'm gonna sell this just because I really do trip on this skirt. I bought this skirt at Dollar General this summer for three bucks just because, hey, it was a white skirt for $3. I have only wore this once. I bought this skirt from Ruli and I love it. It's like linen, got the buttons down the front, pockets, and it's got the tie on the front. Hello Foxy sent me this skirt this summer. Love it. Again, linen, pockets, button. Obviously, that's my style. And then I got this skirt from Charlotte Rouge in the fall or summer. And it is just really cute. Pumpkin color. This skirt, you all seen, I bought it at Target. Pockets, so cute. This skirt I just got in the mail while I was gone from, it's from Beautiful One. I love this skirt, but I ordered an extra small and it's too small for me. So I'm gonna see if I can exchange it for a small. This skirt is from Danny Jewels. I actually bought this at a Danny Jewels modest clothing sale. This is from Kato's. I do not wear this skirt anymore, but it had its glory days where I wore it out. I don't wear this skirt anymore either. This skirt, my mother-in-law found this skirt at a consignment store somewhere and gave it to me. I don't wear this because I sewed the split up and I, I can't walk in it. I don't wear this anymore. It's really long, A-line. This skirt is, I bought this at a consignment store. I don't wear this anymore. The zipper is broke. It's always down. Pockets in the back. And I have a Jay McKenzie extra small jean pencil skirt. I've never wear this before. I don't know why I've never wore it before. There was a reason why. It either didn't fit or I couldn't. Why have I not wore this? Um, if I find out why I don't wear this, I will sell this. If not, I'll start wearing it. <laughs> and then I have this jean skirt. I have wore this out a long time ago. It's from Kato's. I don't wear it anymore. Okay, these two skirts were in my bedroom because they're too big on me and I meant to take them to a seamstress and never made it there before I left for Florida. But this is from Gap. I love this skirt, it's just a tad too big. And then this skirt is from Banana Republic. I showed you all um, in my Pigeon Forge haul. I love this skirt, but it's a little bit too big in the waist and it's a little too long. So I wanna take it to a seamstress and see if I can get it fixed. So that is every single skirt that I own and I know that is way too many skirts and like I said, I'm gonna be get, getting rid of some of them. I hope you like this video. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Leave me a comment down below and tell me where your favorite place is to buy skirts because we are all looking. So share the information and let us know. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. New videos every Tuesday and Friday. Have a wonderful day. Bye.